Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to convert a photo to PDF on a Windows PC. It's really quite simple to do with software you already have on your computer. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, so here we are on my Windows 11 desktop. If you happen to be using Windows 10, the process is nearly identical. Just some of the menus look slightly different. Now over on the left hand side here, I have a JPEG image. This is the image we're gonna be moving over to a PDF today or converting to a PDF. And it's really quite simple to do using the program that is included with Windows 10 and 11 called Microsoft Photos. It should be on your computer already. If it's not, you can download it for free from the Microsoft Store. So let's go ahead and double click on our photo. So for myself, the Photos app is already set as a default. So I'm gonna double left click on my photo and it's gonna load up and you can see it loaded up in the Photos app. And for many of you, it'll load right into this program. If it's not loading into the Photos app for you, let's just close this out. You can find your image. So mine happens to be on my desktop or you can search for it. Just open up your file explorer and search your computer for the image. It might be in your photos or your pictures here. Now, once you find that image, what we're gonna do is right click on it. And in this menu that pops up, you should see the option that says open with. Now the Windows 10 menu looks slightly different, but there is an option that says open with, and it'll give you a little menu that pops up here. And in here, you should see the option that says photos. Go ahead and left click on photos that's gonna load up the Photos app to where we were before. So now in Microsoft Photos on my Windows 11 PC, we're gonna be looking for the print option. So at the top here, you'll see three little dots that say see more. If I left click on that, a menu is gonna pop up and I have the print option right there. We can go ahead and left click on print and that's gonna load up the print page for us. Now, I noticed on my Windows 10 PC in the top right hand corner, there is a little print icon, so I didn't have the three dots I click on. There's a little printer icon that you click on. So you can see that my image showed up here in the preview, but what we need to do up here where it says printer, it's currently selected as my Canon printer. What we wanna do is left click on this dropdown and you should see the option here that says Microsoft Print to PDF. This is a free feature included with Microsoft Windows. So go ahead and left click on that. This is gonna allow you to print your image to a PDF document and rather than a piece of paper. So it's really quite a handy feature included here within Windows. Now I do wanna show you some of the settings here so you can get your um, PDF looking the way you'd like it. My image you can see here is actually a 16 by nine image and I'm currently set to a letter size piece of paper here. So you can see it's zoomed in a little bit or cropping off the sides of my image. So if you do wanna fix that, there's a couple ways to fix it. The first would be to change your paper size. So right now I'm set to letter. I could go ahead and switch this to legal and now it would show the whole image on the piece of paper. So that would be the first option for fixing it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch that back to letter there. So it is zoomed a little bit. You can also change the orientation. So if your document that you're making is vertical, you might wanna switch this to a portrait mode. It will again crop off the sides for you, but maybe that works for you. So that would be the second option for fixing it. Now going down here, you can change a couple things. You can change the photo size and the margins as well. We're not gonna go in the, into that too much today. But at the bottom here, it says fit and the option is set to fill page. So if I left click on that, there is an option in here that says shrink to fit. This is my favorite option for fixing this. You can just go ahead and hit shrink to fit and it's gonna shrink your image down so it actually fits on your page. So um, if you're using it again in a document, you can see the whole image. Now, if that's not gonna work for you and you need it to be the other direction again, we can always change this back from portrait to landscape. And again, it's still gonna show you that whole image when you have shrink to fit turned on. Now, when you have your page looking just the way you'd like it there, you can go ahead and hit print here at the bottom, a print output, our window is gonna pop up and we can select where we'd like to save it. I'm gonna select the desktop. You can select your different files, maybe your documents or your pictures, wherever you'd like it. We're gonna put it in a file name. I'm just gonna call this one Niagara Falls. You can name yours, of course, whatever you like. You can see here it is set to PDF document at the bottom where it says save as type. From there, we're just gonna go ahead and hit save and it's gonna convert that 
over to a PDF for us. So let's go ahead and minimize this. It should be on my desktop here. There it is over on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and open that up. There it is, a PDF document that you could even mark up or draw on if you like. You can do that right there. It's super handy to turn into a PDF document. And it's really that simple to convert a photo to a PDF here in Windows. So hope this Windows photo to PDF tutorial did help you out. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. It's totally free and I'd love to have you join the Northern Viking community. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.